whole philosophers of ancient times. Please, give me the information I need. Should I choose love or money? No answer at all. Well, actually, that's not how we communicate with philosophers. They don't even know what is love, actually. Philosophers, they don't even know if we exist, actually. There's no consensus. I think the whole point is to understand philosophy is to read philosophy. But there's only two ways, guys. Or you read books, a lot of books, or you be a philosopher and have ideas. But even today, to be a philosopher, you need to read philosophy books. On the contrary, you probably get ideas that someone had already that ideas. So you should read, read philosophy books. That's the only way we can understand philosophy. And be careful. You must be really very careful. Be careful to not take a thought, a philosopher that had that thought, and be a fan of the philosopher. Neither you must be a ideologist. Never. You should just understand the philosopher's thinking, and that's enough. In my case, six years ago, I really got really interested in the cards. I even learned French to better understand the cards, and it's a pretty good tip. <clears throat> If you want to really understand a thinking, a ideology, a philosopher, or anything, you 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 it would be good to learn the language. For example, I learned French six years ago, and today I'm learning um, German to understand the Germany and the thinking of the German philosophers. But first, you gotta understand English. Then, the native language of the philosopher, not English. Um, you gotta to have in mind that philosopher usually is a text that is meant to be critic and that the philosophers uh, wants to prove something. Usually, Nietzsche, for example, he, he doesn't He doesn't care if you if he's proving what he's saying or not, but he is certainly criticizing something. And that's the way philosophy bucks usually is. Um they also usually <coughs> <coughs> tend to be very very linguistic. Philosophers, especially Germans usually use terms and terminologies that is kind of complex. We don't use in the daily life, but they use, so you must change your mindset when you start reading books, reading philosophy books. A alternative way is reading philosophy books, not by the author, but by someone who is specialized in the author, and write a book without the author, but in a more simple way, so it's better to understand, okay? Um, well, guys, I think that is it. I will probably make uh, this video had no thought, so I'm kind of talking what comes in mind, and I will make another video where I will talk about how to <coughs> write philosophy essays or even philosophy books. I'm writing one and it's a pretty hard task. Auf Wiedersehen.